Good morning. It's Wednesday morning, September 7, 2016. We're talking about our identity. And you know, I've moved to Bronco territory. That's the Denver Broncos. It is amazing how the state of Colorado is consumed with the Broncos. In fact, I think Coloradans, huh, they would tell you they identify with the Broncos. Well, I'm not converted yet. I can't tell you I am or am not a Broncos fan, but I, I we use so many things to identify ourselves. I have not put on the colors, and you don't see them around my house. It's amazing. You know, people have <laughs> ice chests that are the Bronco colors. They wear sweatshirts, T-shirts, hats, you name it, Broncos. Well, I, I'm here to tell you that you can identify with the Broncos if you want or whoever else. But the truth is you better be identified with Jesus Christ. Now, we're looking at Romans 6, and we're looking at, at verses 1 through 10, and we kind of covered the first three verses. I, I want to look at verse 4 a little deeper today on this special day. It says, Therefore we were buried with him through baptism unto death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in newness of life. I like new things. I don't know about you. I, I really not into antiques and old stuff. And and I think as I get older, I'm less into old stuff. I, I'm more into new stuff. And here's what the Word of God says. Just as we died, we were buried with Christ through baptism into his death. Just as he was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we're going to now walk in newness of life. There is nothing more powerful than your identity in Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit dwelling in you, which is resurrection power. Dead to sin, alive to Christ. The old is gone, the new is come, and newness of life is all over you. Now, this should be a fresh experience every day. It's why I keep repeating some of the same things over and over again, because I believe that as God's followers, as children of Jesus Christ, as disciples of the Lord, as followers who believe and trust in Jesus for our salvation and our livelihood, that we need to walk in the newness of the Spirit every single day of our life. There's nothing like it. So Christ was buried, but he didn't stay in the grave. He was baptized by John in the Jordan River. He was baptized into death after Calvary, the crucifixion. But he didn't stay in the grave. He came to life. And so water baptism is this symbol of us dying to our sin, dying to the old man, dying to everything that really has a putrefying smell of death all over it, and arising to the aroma of life that comes in the power of the resurrection. I want you to catch this today. You should be filled with God's resurrection power today. The Holy Spirit is upon you, came to dwell in you. You became a vessel of the Holy Spirit. And he put eternal life in you. The seed of it's all over you. The Spirit of the living God dwells in you. And he's the guarantee of new life, newness of life. So you're not stale. You're not moldy. And in, in this sense, you're not decaying. Your spirit man is being renewed, as the Apostle Paul says, day by day. And I want you to sense right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, not by my words, but by the Holy Spirit's power, that newness of life is all over you because the seed of eternity is in you by the Holy Spirit. And so you were buried. That's why water baptism, I think, is important. It's not a command to to be baptized in water in order to be saved. That's not what we're saying. Water baptism doesn't save you, but it gives you identity. See, people wear a Broncos sweatshirt or jersey and got their favorite player's number on it, maybe his name, <laughs> to say, I'm identifying with this person. Well, the Holy Spirit has branded you. He has identified you with Christ. And every day he's giving you the fresh newness of eternal life and it bubbles up in you. It's a spring of living water, as Jesus said, and it never stops flowing. So I want you to carry this with you all day today. You've been raised from the dead. Sin is done. You got newness of life. Let's pray. We can't pray anything, Heavenly Father, today in Jesus' name, but praise and thanksgiving and honor to the God who's right now touching every person watching this with the Holy Spirit power and newness of life. Thank you. 
thank you. We glorify you. This, by the glory of the Father, it's said in the scripture, by the glory of the Father, we've got newness of life. We receive it. We accept it. We walk in it. It's ours in Jesus Christ. That's where our identity is. Thank you for that, God. We praise you today. Amen. Okay, you're new. You're, you may have age in, in terms of years of, of old, but you're new in Jesus, and newness of life is all over you. Walk in that newness today. God bless you.